Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Libra. This is going to be for your December 2023. You can apply this to uh, any of your placements. We're just going to see uh, what your over energies are, what's around you guys, what you guys need to know for December. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your unique, unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Libra people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, all right? So tell me about uh, Libra. Energy check-in for Libra. Over energies for Libra for December 2023. For Libra. For Libra. Okay, so we have three of swords and a ton of pentacles here. Wow. I mean, there's definitely some sort of heartache some sort of heartbreak here surrounding uh, a relationship, maybe even surrounding money here. I don't know. Some of you might have suffered some sort of huge loss, you know, maybe in their investments here, in their inheritance, whatever that might look like. Yeah, there's some sort of loss that someone here is experienced or will experience here. Okay. So the three of swords and the ten of pentacles. We have the magician, Gemini, Virgo, and the wheel of fortune here. I mean, this might have already happened, you know in the past. And I feel like, you know, it could be a situation that your fortune is changing here. It could be that you are manifesting what you want or that you are manifesting your own destiny here or that you're, uh, you're, you're sort of like, you know, on your destiny right now. You're doing things that you are meant to do right now. Okay. So I feel like, you know, it could be that three of swords and a ton of pentacles. That's that will hump. Maybe you're getting over it. Maybe you're moving on from it. Yeah, I, I feel like your fortune could be changing here. Uh, and, you know, this could be an indication with the uh, Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups here. There could be new love that's coming into your life, too. Yeah, there's a sense of moving on from some sort of betrayal, some sort of heartbreak that you went through here. I mean, this breakup, this heartbreak, I mean, it could have been like a, a, a you know, a romantic loss here. I mean, this could also could have been a financial loss here, too, maybe. Whoever you were dealing with here, this person was a bit of a financial liability or that this person was just very grabby. This person kept taking things from you, okay? Uh, taking material things, money, Six of Swords, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, so Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Wands, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, and the Nine of Pentacles. I mean, this could also be an indication that someone here is definitely coming back around uh, because, you know, there's something that you offer this individual that this person cannot get anywhere else, you know? We have the Five of Wands here. Yeah, I, I feel like you're gonna you're gonna flip this person off with two double birds here. I feel like this is someone that you don't want to deal with. You know, I just feel like you just are in this energy of really just focusing on your healing here, focusing on um, you know, kind of like looking towards the future. You know, with optimism here, you know, uh, Ace of Cups, you know, this could be you healing yourself, realizing that you deserve a lot more, that you guys are, you know, worth you guys are worth uh, or that you guys deserve what you want or deserve what you uh, want to manifest here. Uh, the, the star Aquarius energy. What else do we have here for um, Libra? What else does Libra need to know, look out for, work on for December 2023 for Libra? Okay, so we have the moon, Cancer, Pisces here, and the Seven of Cups. Wow. You know, I feel like you guys are at this time dreaming, dreaming, kind of dreaming big, kind of dreaming big for yourself. I and mean, I feel like you guys are definitely making things happen for you, uh, for yourselves here. This is interesting. There, you know, I feel like you guys are having dreams about like good versus evil sort of thing here. You know, so I, because I, so I, I feel like you guys are definitely, you know, picking up energies that are not so great, you know, kind of like negative entities here so you know I, this is interesting some of you guys could be living in the space where it's kind of haunted here you know and i feel like you guys might feel like you're being 
driven crazy, but you guys are not. Uh, something's definitely being illuminated here. We have a two of wands and the eight of cups. Okay. This is interesting. I feel like you guys are living in a space here where I feel, this is interesting. I feel like you guys are having like these really heavy, dark dreams here. And I feel like, you know, uh, you know, I feel like you're realizing that there's something not quite right here. And with two wands and eight of cups here, I mean, you could be making a decision to move away from the space here because maybe it's affecting you emotionally. Maybe it's affecting you mentally here. I mean, it could be a situation that this heartbreak that you went through here is um, someone that you dealt with um, when this person was living, okay? This could be uh, maybe a past spouse or something like that, a past partner. And this person could be haunting you for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why I'm getting this, but someone here dry, died of a drug overdose. Yeah. The moon. Nine of cups. The uh, Yeah, this, uh, okay, this person died of some sort of drug overdose or some sort of alcohol poisoning or something like that. Uh, because I do feel like there's a sense of like recreating what you had with this person in your dreams. Maybe you're connecting with this person in your dreams. Yeah, it seems like someone here is connecting with the dead here. Okay, someone here is connecting with the dead. We have the devil. Tell me about the devil here. The devil and the king of wands. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person is stuck in between realms. Yeah, this person is stuck in between realms. This person could have passed from like a drug overdose. This person could have passed from like drinking too much alcohol or something like that. But someone here is definitely connecting with you in your dream state here with the two of wands and judgment, Sagittarius energy and the seven of pentacles. You know, I feel like this person feels guilty about what they did. And I feel like this person needs some sort of forgiveness here uh, or that they're looking for forgiveness so that they could cross over it because this person definitely is stuck in between realms here. And in one of the things I'm getting here, I feel like you had a history of dealing with people that has dealt with drug issues here. I mean, another one's coming through. So this could be a parent that's coming through here, um, you know, that that's also stuck in, uh, in between realms here, maybe looking for forgiveness so that they could cross over or something like that. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like these people are definitely caught in between here, okay? They're caught in between. I mean, I feel like, you know, you might be able to talk them uh, or help them cross over or something like that because like like i said i feel like you're picking up a lot of energies here and i feel like the, these energies that you're picking up uh, is in your home here and i feel like these souls might be tortured because of what they went through here in the in the physical world okay so you know i do feel like you might be able to help these people out you might be able to change their um I mean, I mean, obviously they're not living, but you know, it's kind of like you you might be able to change your life, or that you be, you might be able to change their trajectory, the the the, the soul of this traject uh, the, the trajectory of these souls here. Okay, so uh, Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.